Welcome to part 26 of The Real Star Citizen. So, I just wanted to try out a few things that had been recommended to me around sort of kitting myself out. Um, the first one is like having equipment on my ship ready to go. So, I've got some equipment on me already. I've got my Drake Corsair in my hangar above... Um, in Port Tressler. So I'm just going to go to the cargo hangar and if you've watched my other videos I did um, <laughs> I, tr I tried to do a um, save stand and on my own which obviously I failed at but I did get some cargo right. boxes. So out these ones are quite large so that these two are the largest. This is the smallest so let's grab this. Um, let's just grab I think I've got some sort of pretty uh, let's untick that. Some standard sort of weapons that I can bring up as well. I say standard. The LMG is not standard. I'm not sure if that's standard or not. Um, I've got some cool scopes as well, so I'm going to bring those up. Um, I got them looting them. I don't know if they're any good or not. I'll bring that up. I'll bring some grenades up. Because you always need grenades, right? You can never have too many grenades. Uh, frag pistol. No only pistol. Okay, so there's some kit. So let's bring that up. Okay. Oh, I should come up here. I should have a multi tool. I think is five, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so where's all my kit? Did it put it in the container? It's all on top of the container. That's interesting. Wasn't expecting it to be. Oh, uh, I can't pick these up with this multi tool. Okay. But anyway, so. Right, okay. I've sort of messed up already, haven't I? I think, the, let's go put some weapons in a weapon rack. Put this away. I've remembered now that uh, holding R puts away weapons. So we've got a weapon rack here. So let's get this out and put it here. Cool. Okay. I think that's all the weapons I had on me. Got some ammo and stuff. Got a backpack. So let's... Go back. So I guess I've made a little bit of a mistake then. So I thought that I could take this container and put things in it, but maybe this container isn't that sort of a container. Down to the cargo um, services because I realised that those containers are commodity containers, not sort of general storage container so I've come down and I've bought one of these um, store all containers so hopefully that's big enough to do what I'm trying to do and um, I also need to buy a, uh, a tractor beam because I'm not 100% sure if I can actually use my multi-tool so it's just easier to buy although they're really expensive aren't they but, you know, I need one. So let's buy one of those. And let's buy a battery, just so we don't run out of batteries. Buy two batteries. We can take it. So now what I'm hoping is that I can go back down and do what I was trying to do, which is to get a, um, get a container, put it on my ship and put everything I need in. Obviously some sort of weird silent disco thing going on there anyway um so yeah so i'm gonna head back down and i'll, I'll be right back back in my hangar so let's try this again so let's go to container let's go to standard container there it is let's put that in there um let's look can i can you actually put it inside that no you can't i'm not I'm not going to bring them up because I don't want it to be sat on top again. So let's let's bring that container up. 
and then let's see if I can get that on my ship. I'll try with the um, attachment first. Because it would be handy to know. So yeah, so that's cool. I can actually lift it. So I didn't need to spend that money, but anyway, always handy to have those. Um, always handy to have the larger tractor beams because you can't. There we go. I guess that's that snap to grid. And then I've got open, right? So if I open it, and there it is. There's my container, so I can put things in it. So I'm gonna go and grab some bits. To know though. I think if you push, is it Alt and then 1, you do a re-pooling. So this is some, something that was pointed out in one of my comments. So if, you, if you've if you gone through a firefight and you're in a lull or you're moving to the next area, hitting Alt, holding Alt and pushing 1 redistributes all your ammunition in your magazines. Because, again, if you've watched some of my previous um, videos, I've screwed up where I've ended up with, like, six magazines with, like, one or two rounds in each one and got myself in all sorts of trouble. So, yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm learning as I go along. These are all things that would have been nice to know from day one, but, you know, it's fine. So, let's stick a drink in there. Let's stick some food in there. Let's stick ammunition in there see it stacks sometimes and doesn't stack other times i don't know what i'm doing wrong there let's check that in there oh this is a huge capacity this is good so we'll stick all this in here some med pens other ammunition is that going to stack but i didn't stack that time i don't know what i'm doing wrong there hmm, weird okay and then on my body so let's get Red of two of those. We can stick these batteries, a couple of these batteries on me. Well, that didn't work. It worked that time. Okay, and then what else have I got on me? Three grenades. Oops. Didn't mean to zoom in like that. Let's stick a grenade in there. Do you know, I actually did um, a mission where we had to do some sabotaging, and actually having grenades came in very handy. Okay, so let's let's close that. So yeah, this this is cool, right? I I wasn't I didn't really know about this. This is brilliant. So not only have I do I have the weapon rack, which did seem to work last time. It I came back on it. The weird thing is it kind of duplicated my rifle. So I had one rifle in here, and then I had the other rifle actually on me. I suppose the only danger here is if I if I die on a mission or become incapacitated on a mission and I'm not able to get back to get my ship, then obviously I lose all this gear on my ship. But in a way, it's I think this is good, right? This is that sort of death of a spaceman experience, if you take it in the more generic sense. And like you, you start to care about the gear you have. You start to care about losing your ship, about losing yourself because you're going to lose, if not, okay, it's going to cost you a load of money or it's going to load, cost you a load in insurance. If you get me watching my videos, it, it messes it up. It, it adds loads of extra time to your next mission or your next contract because you've got to go and you've got to get the stuff again. You've got to rebuy it all, make sure you've got it, you know, on, on, on you to go and do the mission. So it actually affects your efficiency in the gameplay. So, yeah, this is, this is great. I'm really glad people have been so helpful in the comments and pointing these sorts of things out to me which I really really appreciate and it's it's actually making the game way more enjoyable so yeah I really appreciate it so I think I'm just going to go and do a quick mission if you want to keep watching please do and yeah I'll, I'll, I'll come back once I've selected a mission and we're on our way I'm back so I've taken a um a bounty hunter mission and the call to arms as always for getting the extra credit for taking out bad guys and yeah just heading to the location now so far all good no bugs and as i said well as you hopefully saw i've got all the gear i should need um so yeah let's go and see who's down here let's go and have a bit of go and have a bit of fun
So yeah, I've, um, I don't think we've actually been here before. So another tip I was given after I think the last um, mission I did is to power down the um, ship because last time my ship started drifting away. So hopefully <laughs> that won't happen. So let's have a quick, let's head to the, the, uh, Let's have a quick look at what I've actually still got left on me. So I've got my LMG and I've got some ammunition. So I'm going to take a little bit more ammunition. I'm going to take my other um, rifle with me, the one with the scope. So let's go and do that. Around, so. Okay, so let's go. So I've got torch. I think I've actually got an underlight on. Um, so I should be able to do that. So B is to change my fire mode um what was the under sorry i'm just gonna have to quick check i just wanted to see what the the uh, the turn all your um your attachment was so we're on foot um use attachment u u for use there we go so i've got my under under barrel light on okay so let's head in there's not much cover here. What's up here? Some trees. A quick look. Probably turn that light off for now. That's just going to really give my position away. Some cover over here. So let's get get into cover. Yeah, no, I've I've not been here before. This is a new location for me. There's other ships. There was a. Sh uh, there's another ship over there, and there's one over here, and I don't know. I'm guessing they're player ships, but I don't know. Um, so right, I'm going to get my LMG out because this is quite cl close quarters. Not seeing anyone so far, which, as I've learnt, is not a good thing because if it mean it can mean that this um, contract is bugged and the NPCs don't spawn which means that you can't actually complete the uh, you can't complete the mission uh, the contract and I've got a funny feeling this might be the case but we'll keep heading oh this place gives me nightmares no turning back this is this is in the other location where you fall through the planet I just ran straight through it so I've got quite a long way till I get to him. So maybe it's that maybe. Sorry, I just went quiet because I thought I heard something, but maybe that was just me. I thought it almost sounded like a sniping or something, but no, I think I'm just hearing things. I am not seeing. Oh, I was just about to say I'm not seeing anyone. And then up here, I can see people. Let's creep up on them. So I'm crouched. I'm looking at Moby glasses. Are these bad guys? Is this the way it works? Are they always bad guys? Because last time someone said just kill everybody. Because uh, again, if you <laughs> keep saying it, if you said if you saw my old, uh, last video, um, I didn't kill these guys, and I got too close, and they pulled pistols on me. So I'm a little bit tempted to to take them out. I'm about to, I think I'm gonna just load, reload. Here we go. Well, I'm not getting a crime stat, so I'm guessing that's a good sign. And actually, because of the, the, the call to arms thing, I think I get credit for every sort of bad guy. So if these are classed as bad guys, then taking them out is a good thing anyway. Because I get credit for that. So let's keep going. like this location again a lot of atmosphere uh, they do they, they you know these sort of prefabricated bases that they've put together for the for the contracts are really nice but but I'm more excited for um, doing it you know doing it ourselves building our own bases up and being able to go and sort of potentially raid 
other players, I think that's infinitely more interesting. I'm going to just go up here and have a peek. It says I'm only 100 meters from now. This place is quite big, actually, isn't it? So I've not seen anyone else so far, just those guys hanging around. Let's quickly switch to my four times. What can we see? What can we see? There's some more guys there. This is silenced as well, isn't it? Yeah. Go to sleep. Okay, so there's two more guys. I suppose another thing there is if they pulled pistols out and started firing at me, then that might alert armed people, if there are armed people here. So I don't know what that is, but that looks interesting, doesn't it? Is this loot? Let's open it. Ooh, okay, what are these? Toys. Brilliant. Well, do you know what? I'm going to take them anyway. What's that? Is that the magazines for them? <laughs> and a really weird rusty undersuit thing, which I don't want. So not, not the loot I was looking for, but, you know, whatever. I'll take some dark guns. I think I, just, I vaguely remember seeing somebody like, you could actually get those out. On a, um, is that another one there? Oh, oh, there is another one there. So, I've got to be careful. You use all that ammunition. Let's go and have a look over here. I'm going to get this out because I'm sure I heard those, those doggy things that I should probably learn the names for, right? But, let's have a look see what's in this one. I talked it up, didn't I? I said I never get any loot. That's shiny. Will that fit anywhere? That won't, will it? So I don't need that anyway. That's not a rare weapon. But I like the uh, the helmet school. Yes. So let's... We're getting closer. Getting closer. Try not to get distracted. So some... I, I swear... Somebody said the boxes were, were red. But these are purple, which is cool. I'm so scared about going inside buildings. I can hear those doggy things. They scare the bejesus out of me. Is that more guys there? That is, isn't it? So let's whoop, do our James Bond impression. Oh no. These are armed guys. Let's get some distance and get a bit of cover. Why am I not hitting him? Yeah, these guys got armor on. It's two down. Oh, there's load over there. Shots count, right? I like the way they're not moving, though. It's very handy. Oh, there was another one, wasn't there? I don't think that was an armed guy, but... What have we got left? What? Oh, no, I've got another magazine. Can I get him from this angle? Yes. I like this. I'm, I'm guessing this is the scope at work, right? That they can't tell where I am. Oh, he ducked. What have we got left? 29 on this. No, wasting rounds. Oh, there's another. I can see another torch, which usually means armed, armoured. I'm doing so well on this guy. He's down there. Did I see another light? What if I got there? 15 shots with this. Oh. Oh, what? What is that? Run away from that. 
Uh, yeah, that's out of my nightmare. Did you see that? Wow, okay. That's, that's properly, that just, yeah, that freaked me out. Okay, I didn't see where I got shot from. I'm running really low on my snipery type. My um, P4AR. Oh, maybe it was that guy over there. This has a silencer as well. So I'm guessing I can kind of just do some... I need to get a scope on this, don't I? I am hitting him, though. There's two down. I did it, I killed him. That was the uh, that was the contract. So if I take this guy out, maybe I can go and have a look. See if there was any other loot worth having. And because I have a container now, I guess I can what I loot I can um What is that noise? What I loot I can Took a little bit of damage then, didn't I? What I loot, I can um, put into my ship if there is any more loot. So I'm done looting. I've shot quite a few of those creatures. I actually came across a few other um, straggler bad guys as well. So I'm heading back to my ship. Also turns out I'm a little bit hydrated and hungry. So I'm going to call this one a major success. I've managed to pick up a number of LMGs and ammunition. So yeah, thanks for everybody who pointed out these sort of tips for you know, having containers on the ship and spending the time to loot and things because you know, some of these weapons are pretty cool, expensive and, and really hard to find actually. So yeah, I'm going to call this a success and if you've been watching, thanks very much and I'll catch you in the next video.